friends. I'm back so soon again for me. Um, today I come to you with a tag. Um, I was tagged by Julia Agent Bag Reviews to do this tag. Uh, it's the FOMO tag, the bag, what was the actual name is it? The FOMO bag tag. Uh, originally created by um, Tesla at Teslux. Um, I'm new to her channel. I just discovered her through Julie. So I've subscribed today. You can go do the same if you haven't already. And also to Juliet Agent Bag Reviews. So I don't have the biggest collection um, of luxury bags, but given this question, uh, I think I was concerned with price increases as we've all been, uh, especially with um, LV and Chanel. So I purchased this bag. This is the one I'm talking about right today. The uh, Neverfull MM in the Damier Abine with the, I think they call it just the cherry interior, which if you watch my reveal on this, this is what got me. I know the, the ballerine interior is beautiful too. I have that on my other Neverfull. Um, I have the large, the GM in the Azure with the pink. So I wanted to do something a little bolder and I love this combination of the colors. Anyways, the reason, actually, nope, let's start with the questions before I start rambling. Um, it was what piece did you purchase? Obviously this. And what about made you buy it? Well, I had wanted it for about a year and uh, then started to hear about the price increases. And this was going back in August of last year. Um, since then, there have been... After I purchased it, there have been two price increases, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, basically, I wanted the bag for a long time. I knew there would be increases and I wanted to beat them and I am sure glad that I did. Um, so that was number one. Did you pay, or number two, pay under or over retail? Well, I bought it through Louis Vuitton online, so I paid the exact retail at the time which was at the time, I should say, it was 1980, I believe, Canadian dollars. With our taxes, it was near over almost 2,200 or thereabouts. So our taxes are high. So, you know, the prices go up, the taxes get more. It's just, I didn't want to take, honestly, I just didn't want to take any longer to make a decision. And I'd already thought about it for a year. So people talk about waiting a couple days. I wait a year. <laughs> um, that was number two question. How does what you paid compare to current retail pricing? This is the big one. Now, like I said, two increases since. I don't recall the first one, what it took it to, but now to date, I think the last increase was February 16th. I feel like it was the 16th. It's stuck in my head. Um, so I paid 1980 as of February, 2580. 2580, that's $600. And with our 13%, I didn't figure it out, but that's a good chunk of change. So I was not, I think it comes, it's getting closer to 3,000 now with our taxes. So I was not prepared to do that. Of course, little did I know it was gonna be that big a jump. Um, I definitely would think more than twice about it now at 2,500 plus tax. Um, maybe wait till I get a chance to go to Europe. I don't know. Depending, like I said, I don't usually buy a lot of bags. If it was something that I was just desperate to have, maybe after much thought, maybe I would, but it would take a lot, a lot to convince me to buy it at that price right now. So am I happy? Yes, I'm happy I bought it then. Um, do you still own the bag? Well, I don't have to show it, but obviously yes, I put it in the frame a few times. Um, why or why not? Because I love it. Um, I don't foresee ever getting rid of it at this point in my life. Um, of course I'm 59, so you know. <laughs> um, I find it perfect. And in fact, I've worn it almost nonstop. Like not that I've been there that far, but for nine out of time, 10 times that I've been out, I've been using this bag um, for ease. It's just, and in the winter, of course, here in Canada, you know, you can throw your scarf in if you don't need it. You can take a bottle of water, you can take you take your mittens or your gloves off. Um, 
Right now I don't have a whole lot in it today because I had to go to the hospital for MRI. That's a sob story you can do without. And uh, I didn't want to take such a great bag to the hospital. So, um, basically, I mean, we haven't gone too far, but I just love the fact that I can just like throw it in and then, and with um, this, the little pouch, so convenient, throw everything in there of uh, card holders, things like that. I also hook on that, I don't have it with me right now. Um, do I? Actually, I do. The um, key clay. I often, with the little, I will hook it on inside as well. I usually put my medications in there so I have quick access to that. Everything's just, for me, easy with this bag. I don't fill it up, I could, that's the use of it. But for just wandering around, I just throw everything in and off I go and it's no problems, problem free. So yes, I'm keeping that. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. Do you regret your purchase? Well, if you haven't figured that out, but of course I, I don't regret the purchase. I think uh, not everybody's a Neverfull fan. I did um, initially get influenced by YouTube um, for my first bag, my Speedy 30. Second bag was the Neverfull GM and the Damier Azure, like I said. Um, I love that bag. It's rather big for like an everyday thing for me. Um, it has had its uses for sure. I used it, but this I can take to a mall. I mean, I, everybody knows I suffer with back pain or those who have watched me before. And, uh, I mean, I don't, I just take my necessities really. I just love the ease of it. It's just like, I don't have to like, I can just like, oh yeah, there that it. Like, it's just, for me, it's perfection. So it's a keeper, and am I glad I got it? Absolutely, I'm glad I got it <laughs> when I did. Um, anyways, once again, I want to thank Julie at Agent Bag Reviews for tagging me, and um, Tesla at Teslux. Uh, thanks, ladies, for tagging me. And if there's anybody out there that hasn't done this, I've seen this a few, uh, few people. Um, it's 1 a.m. in the morning. I just can't think of anybody, but I'm sure if there's anybody out there that watches me that hasn't seen it and would like to do it, please. Um, I'd like to see your uh, FOMO bags or FOMO pieces and hope to get back on here soon because I'm actually making a list of videos to do for the future. And if you haven't subscribed or liked, please do so. I'd love that. I reached my 100 um, subscribers about getting close to two weeks ago, which I was thrilled. So now, of course, 200 is the goal. So if you can help me out there, I'd appreciate it. Wishing everybody love and laughter and peace and hoping everybody's well and hopefully we'll see you in the very near, verily, verily. Okay, Debbie, now I know it's late. The very near future. <laughs> Bye, friends.